Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing the Blush is Bay tag. I first saw this tag on Bougie Bree's channel, so I'll have a video linked down below. And this was originally created as a collab tag, which is adorable. And this is a collab between Danny, whose YouTube channel is Witch Doctor PhD. I'll have her channel linked down below, and Natisha N. I'll also have those channels linked down below along with the original videos. There are 15 questions all about blush, and as I've been really exploring more and having more fun with blush, I thought that would be like a perfect tag to do. So let's jump in. Question number one is cream or powder? Mm. A couple of months ago this would have been an easy powder, but I've been falling more and more in love with cream products, especially uh, this one. This is the Kaja Bento Box with a couple of different cream blushes in here, and then I actually just picked up another cream blush I'll talk about a little bit later because I think there was a question about that, but now I'm just like... I could go either or. Like, I'm falling more in love with cream blushes, but I, I originally fell in love with, like, powder blushes, so at this point, I think they're equal. Question number two is weirdest color. Now, to me, I think at first, a weird color for me was, like, a peach. Because I never, I don't know why, when I first got into makeup, I never wore blush because I get if you see me without my makeup on I get redness right around here and I never wanted to like accentuate that so like I really didn't wear blush at all until like a year and a half ago ish and it wasn't until I had uh, my Sephora interview where they mentioned that a peach blush would look really nice on me I had never considered a peach blush before that because I always thought it was it would be too dark or it would look weird on my skin tone but peach blushes are awesome I love them so I have a few of them now, and I actually just picked up an orange blush. So I think that probably was like the strangest of co uh, color in my collection. And it's really one of the ones I was really the most hesitant to try because A, I didn't really see it used much as a blush by a lot of people, and B, I just thought it wouldn't work well on me. And I was wrong, I look awesome in peach blush. Question number three is, do you prefer high end or a drugstore? Now, overall, I have to say I like more like indie affordable, kind of in the mid-range blushes the best so far. Though there are like some really great affordable options that I like. I haven't found anything like really high-end that I love. But I have found some really great affordable options. Of course, everyone's go-to is the Milani Luminoso blush right here. And then, let me see, another blush that just really blew me away was this Geek Chic Cosmetics Loose Blush. And both of those were like right around ten dollars or under question number four is what is your most expensive blush and i think looking at my collection now i think it is this mac one and this is from the mac and patrick star collection it's technically like a like a blush duo kind of thing and it's just like meh i bought this because i really wanted to try something from this particular i think this was like the second collection patrick star did with mac and this was the only thing that really called out to me so i got it i barely use it it's just like meh so I think that's kind of why I feel mad towards like more expensive blushes overall. Question number five is what is your most inexpensive blush? Now here, let me see. I think it has to be these. So these are the Shop Miss A AOA Perfect blushes and these were a dollar each. So these are my most inexpensive. They're very, very good blushes. They're very functional. They have a bunch of shades. They're smaller than I thought they would be, but they're a dollar. So, like, I can't really complain that much about them. And the peach blush that I showed before, a peachy tone blush, is from this line. And I really like a lot of Shop Miss A products. So, these are my cheapest blushes. Question number six is, what is your favorite single blush? So, now, I've been experimenting with a few other blushes, but as of recently, this was my most favorite like recent blush and this is from Geek Chic Cosmetics this is the let them eat cake loose blush this is the blush that got me to fall in love with loose blushes and if anything I feel like that first question could have been cream powder or loose powder blushes I really like loose blushes and I'm going to talk about this maybe in the next couple of questions but I just picked up a whole bunch of other new loose blushes and I really like loose blushes and this the shade of this was just so pretty it's a bit excessive uh like bright but you can definitely tone it down like so that's the great thing about this kind of blush you can tone it down you can go all the way out and like have a hot pink blush but it's just so pretty question seven is favorite blush palette i only have two blush palettes so it's not really that much of a um like choice the first one is this profusion blush and glow palette 
it's, it's I consider it more of a blush topper and a highlight palette, so it's not even really a blush palette. The um, I'm trying not to move it too much now because it is broken, but I'll throw a picture up right here. The BH Cosmetics um, blush palette. This is a great blush palette. It has a whole bunch of colors all together. It's really affordable. It's like $10, and it just works so well. I love this palette. Only downside is that the, the lid totally broke off, and so now like I have to just keep it closed. I don't think I can fix it. I might just depot the blushes and put them in a Z palette or something because they're really good blushes, and I don't want to get rid of it. Question number eight is, what is the oldest blush in the collection? Ooh, that's a good question. I think... You know, I really don't know. I really did, like I said, I didn't really wear blush at all for the first couple of years I was doing makeup. So most of my blushes are recent. I honestly couldn't tell you what my oldest blush is. Because most likely the first few blushes I probably bought, I think I might have decluttered. Because most of these are recent. So yeah, sorry that sounds a bit like a cop out, but yeah hmm question number nine is what is your newest blush in the collection now this one i'm excited about so i have been wanting to buy this since it first came out the new fenty cream blushes that orange blush has been sold out since it like basically came out um it came back in stock the other day and i just picked it up so this is currently on its way to my house i could not wait to get it i'm so excited i waited so long for it and i'm really excited to play with it Question number 10 is a party blush, and I honestly, I think the party blush would be this one, the Geek Chic Cosmetics one, because this, you can go so bright, and it's glowy, and like, if I were gonna go out on crazy party night, I don't know if I'd go heavy blush, but if I were, it would be this one. Question number 11 is a brand that you have more than a quantity of four blushes for, and now this is the new one. So this is Crow and Pebble. I have four. So I picked up four loose blushes. I've been using them almost every day since I got them. I love these blushes. Which one am I wearing today? I believe I am wearing the mauve shade. I was shocked by how much I liked this mauve shade. It's so gorgeous. The bright peach is also stunning. This lightest shade, um, it's like a really, really light peachy pink. This one doesn't show up, like it's not as pigmented on my skin tone, but it's still very, very pretty. A very like neutrally toned down version. And then this like deep like brick kind of red is just stunning. Uh, they're, they're gorgeous. I love these blushes so much. And this is the only brand where I bought this many <laughs> blushes from a single brand. But I got this many from Crow and Pebble because they were recommended to me through um, a few comments. And I was looking on their website and they're all so affordable. These are all under $10. Um, three of these are the full container. So you can buy a full container or a half container. And even the half container one, I think the darkest shade, I got a half container. That's a lot of product. And these are even the full containers were less than $10. So I kind of went ham and I'm glad I did because they're awesome. Question number 12 is any buying regrets? Honestly, I think the only one is that Mac and Patrick star one. Yeah, it's just, it was too expensive for what it is. And it's just so mad. It's really not what I was expecting out of a Mac blush. Question number 13 is a blush you got because of another YouTuber. This one was actually sent to me as a gift from a friend, but I was thinking about getting this because so many YouTubers were talking about it, and it's the Benefit California blush. This is really pretty. It's a nice glowy peachy blush, but I noticed I got so much hard pan in this. If you can see the pan, I actually scraped up the product and made it into like a loose blush because I always hit hard pan in this blush. And considering how expensive this is, it's a pretty blush, but I can get something similar out of a loose blush or out of the AOA blush. I, I don't think this is worth the money for a product that you're gonna have to work so hard to use because of all the hard pan. Also the packaging, it's really pretty, but it's bulky. It, you don't need all that bulk. You know, the pan is all the way down there, you know? I kind of wish it was just like, I wish it was this design, but like just a regular like, maybe like this, like the ColourPop. Like if it was that much bigger, you could spread out the design and I don't know, I don't like their boxes. <laughs> Question 14, is there a blush in a brand that you haven't tried that is on your wish list? The Fenty one, the Fenty cream blushes. And like I said before, that is on the way. I'm so excited for that. Cannot 
wait. And finally, question number 15. This is your favorite blush brushes. Now, I am currently on the hunt for a good brush I could use with cream blushes. I've seen a couple of videos, and people actually talk about how they like to use a, a round top kabuki brush for that, and I do have a round top kabuki brush um, somewhere in my collection. It's not in my everyday brush basket, but I do have a round top kabuki, so I might bring that in um, and try it with my cream blushes. But my current go-to powder blush brushes are these two. So this first one, this is what I've been using for um, my loose blushes. So this is a really nice dense brush from the Wet n Wild holiday collection from last year. These brushes are gorgeous. They're, well, first of all, stunning. I love that it has a little indentation here for your thumb. And I love that it's tapered towards the end because I do like, well, not my current face brushes but like for the rest of my brushes in this collection too i like to stand the brushes up in like a cup and this just works really nice for that and because these um bristles are so dense and packed in it just works really well for loose blush and i did use this today so i just like to like tap it on like this and just work in circles and tap on the loose blush and it just looks gorgeous also really affordable Next is another great affordable brush, and this is from Real Techniques. So this is the Real Techniques 400 brush. It is a perfect little tapered brush, and it's just like the perfect size for like my cheeks, so I can just brush it up like this. This I love using with like pressed powder blushes, you know, your typical brush blush. Because <laughs> I love swirling it in. You can tap off the excess, tap off on a um, towel or on your hand, and just really go in, and it just diffuses the blush so perfectly and it looks great. Uh, I love these two brushes are honestly my go-tos. And all I have to do now is find a nice go-to for my cream products because I've just been using my fingers to ap apply the cream products. Plod ducks. I can't speak. So that is everything in this Blushes Bay tag. Thank you to Brie for doing the tag and bringing it to my intention and thank you to the two creators. This was so much fun and really got me to think more about blush which is something I'm actually really excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.